Hello, and welcome to AIEM's Introduction to Microsoft Project 2003 video sessions. This is the fourth video in the series and will address duration and milestones. In previous sessions, we created a sample project to build a new cellular phone. We entered all the tasks, and after creating a network structure, entered the dependencies between the tasks in the predecessor column. Microsoft Project defines duration as the amount of working time for the task. In other words, the total amount of time that the task will take to complete. Estimating duration is not simply guessing, it is educated guessing. You can use past experience, consult with subject matter experts and other team members, consult suppliers and vendors, and poll peers and mentors. Early in the project, the duration estimates are not 100% accurate, but they must always be as accurate as you can get them. To enter duration, you need to expose the duration column. To do this, select the column to the right of where you want the duration column to appear. Right-click, select Insert Column, in the field name field, search for duration, select it, and press OK. When we entered the tasks in Microsoft Project 2003, they were defaulted to a duration of one day. It is now time to enter more accurate values for the duration. Duration can be entered as days, weeks, months, hours, minutes, and other time scales. You should select the scale most appropriate to your project. Once selected, you should use a single scale. Confusion and misinterpretation can result from entering some tasks in hours and others in days. I will enter a duration of five days into interview target audience. Notice that it has moved the start of analyzed results out by five days and moved all other tasks accordingly. This is because we had previously entered interview target audience as a predecessor to analyze results. In other words, interview target audience must be finished before we can analyze the results. I will go ahead and enter duration for the remaining tasks. For analyze results, two days. Author to the design specification, two days. Now notice as I do this, in the timeline view, the start dates of the uh, tasks continue to be moved out according to the durations that I've entered. And the connectors remain to the previously related tasks. This is because we had entered these relationships in the predecessor column in previous sessions. Design user interface, two days. Design the network interface, three days. Program Module A, five days. Program Module B, two days. Program Module C, three days. To procure the hardware, one day. To assemble the hardware, two days. To integrate the hardware and software, three days. Two days of testing for the prototype, and one day to present. We've now finished entering duration for all of our tasks. By entering predecessors and durations, Microsoft Project 2003 has determined the earliest start and end date for each task. This is appropriate for many tasks, but not for all. Consider, for example, Procure Hardware. This has an end date of January 19th, and Assemble Hardware has a start date of January 20th. Anyone who's ever done procurement knows that the hardware will not arrive the day after it's ordered. Let's suppose that it takes five days for the hardware to arrive. You may be tempted to include five more days in the duration column. This would be a mistake, because it would imply that the task takes six days. Later, when we assign resources, the resource assigned to this task will be seen to be busy with this task for the full six days, rather than working on the task for one day and waiting for five. The method used to address this requirement to wait for something is called lag. To enter lag, double-click on the task which contains the predecessor, in this case, Assemble Hardware. Select the predecessor tab. Note that there is a lag column, and by default, the task has a lag of zero days. In this column, enter the lag for the task, in this case, five days to wait for the hardware to arrive, and select OK. You'll notice in the timeline view that Procure Hardware still has a duration of one day. It is still connected to Assemble Hardware, but that the start date for Assemble Hardware is now five days after the completion of Procure Hardware. Lag is extremely useful when dealing with external dependencies on a project, from waiting for executive sign-offs to vendor deliverables. There is another special type of task which you may want to include in your plan. It's called a milestone task, and by definition, it has a zero duration. This is because it is used to highlight significant events in your plan. I would like to create a milestone to reflect the end of the specifications phase and to capture the fact that sign-off has been achieved. To insert a milestone, select the task below where you want the milestone to appear, in this case, software. Press the insert key and a new blank row is inserted. I'll type in the milestone, get sign off, and 
put a zero in the duration column. Note that the predecessors all have moved down one to respect the insertion of the new task, and that the milestone is shown on the timeline view with a special character. We have completed the creation of the project schedule and a full work breakdown structure. This ends the introduction to Microsoft Project 2003 Duration and Milestones. The next session will involve entering and assigning resources. Thank you.